What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. Last week, the Panthers wrapped up their 22nd straight victory, dating back to last season against the Virginia Cavaliers, 41-14. This week, they head out onto the road again, this time for an SEC matchup with the 2-6 Tennessee Volunteers. Can Georgia State extend it to 23 in a row? We'll find out next. Tennessee has the ball first, working from the shotgun on first and 10. McTaggart will fire over the middle, and it's dropped by his receiver, incomplete. And that will lead to third down and six out of the shotgun. McTaggart will keep it here on a read option. Going to his left, he is hit hard after a gain of four. And that's a three and out for the Vols. And Panthers will take over. Nick Daniels, your impact player of the day. 189 yards and three touchdowns last week. And on first and 10, Georgia State will go to Daniels on the ground, up the middle for a first down, spin move, and more. Gain of 26. And the Panthers are into Tennessee territory. First and 10, handoff to Zach Bell now up the middle. He finds running room, gain of 12. And another first down for Georgia State. Later in the drive, second and five. Ridgeway goes to the air and finds Gavin Bostic downfield inside the 10, down to the nine. First down, Georgia State. Second and goal now. They go ground with Zach Bell trying to get outside. He's wrapped up after a short gain of three. That'll bring up third and goal. Panthers go to the air out of the shotgun fire. Roberts with a catch down to the one. And fourth down, Georgia State's offense will stay out there. I formation, they hand it off to Daniels, up the middle, untouched, into the end zone for the touchdown, and Georgia State scores first. They're up 7 to nothing as we get a studio update. Number 16, Kentucky losing currently to number 19, Missouri, 7 nothing. That is a game we want to keep our eye on as this Georgia State defense heads back out, trying to stop the Vols from scoring on their second drive of the game. First and 10, empty backfield set. McTaggart, he'll be pressured and knocked down. Pass incomplete. And that brings up second and 10. From the shotgun, McTaggart's back to pass here. Being pressured, trying to take off. But sacked this time for a loss of four by Gerald Dowell. That'll bring up third and long. McTaggart to the air. Looking sideline, fires and caught by Bu Hughes. First down, Vols. The drive will continue, first and 10, setting up screen. Thornton gets the reception, and he's down the sideline. First down, and out of bounds after a gain of 12. First and 10, it's Thornton this time on the ground, up the middle, using that speed to gain 17 and into Georgia State territory. Later in the drive, third and five. McTaggart back to pass here, looking to the sideline. It's caught by Gilmore, but only for a yard. And that'll bring up fourth down. And the Tennessee offense stays out there. McTaggart to the air. Down the field. He finds Lewis for a first down catch. 20 yards downfield. And this Tennessee team is on the move. First and 10. McTaggart will take off. Not finding anybody open. Inside the five. And into the end zone for the touchdown. JT McTaggart puts the balls on the board. Tying this game at seven. And Georgia State takes over. Ridgeway to the air on first and 10. His pass will be caught by Andrew Roberts for a Georgia State first down. Very next play from under center. Ridgeway back to pass here. Looking, firing. Bostic has the reception. And he's out towards midfield. First down, Panthers. Later in the drive, it's second and nine. Ridgeway back to the air here. Looking, and he is knocked down. Pass incomplete. And that'll bring up third down and long for Georgia State. Working from an empty backfield set. Ridgeway to the air. Downfield finds Matt Alexander for the catch. 17 yards. And Georgia State keeps this drive going. First and 10. They go ground. Nick Daniels up the middle with a spin move and breaking a tackle. He's taken down after a gain of 17. 
That brings up first and 10. Play action, Ridgeway going end zone, but it is knocked down, almost intercepted. And that would eventually lead to third and five. Out of the shotgun, Ridgeway can't find anybody open, takes off, and he will have the first down wrapped up at the four. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Georgia State and Tennessee all tied at seven. First and goal for the Panthers as we open up the second quarter. I formation, Nick Daniels gets the carry, cuts it back up the middle, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. And that retakes the lead for Georgia State, 14 to seven as the balls will take over now. And handoff goes to Mike Thornton up the middle. A nice hole for Thornton, 16 yards. And the Vols rushing attack, getting it done against this number one rushing defense of Georgia State. McTaggart dumps it off to Thornton, this time on first and 10. And Thornton hit hard, gain of seven. That will lead to third and three. Empty backfield set. McTaggart to the air, dumping it off to Gilmore. And Demarcus Gilmore hangs on after the big hit for the first down. Man in motion now on first and 10. It's a read option. McTaggart taking off. First down and more inside the 30. A 22-yard gain by JT McTaggart. First and 10. Hand off to Thornton. He gets outside. First down and more inside the 5. Touchdown, Mike Thornton. That ties this game up at 14. And we're going back and forth on offense here. Can the Panthers answer on first and 10? Gavin Bostic makes a 16-yard reception. Second down and four now. Hand off to Daniels. He bounces off a tackle. And Nick Daniels will gain 10 in another Georgia State first down. Zach Bell in now at running back. Will get the carry here. Gets outside. Cuts it back up the middle. And he gains 11. Georgia State continues to move the ball. First and 10. Play action. Ridgeway going to try to go deep here. Shakes off a sack attempt. Then takes off and is run out of bounds after a gain of one. Third and seven. Out of the shotgun, Ridgeway firing deep, and it's caught by Matt Terry. His first reception of the game, and what a place to make it on third down. First and ten, Nick Daniels cuts it back to left up the middle and into the end zone for the touchdown. His third rushing touchdown in this game, and we're only in the first half. And Georgia State's on top again, 21-14. As the Vols will take over, and Ernie Felder will make this reception for a first down. Third and seven, McTaggart dumping it off to Marcus Gilmore. And Gilmore fights his way down to the 40 of Georgia State. And we're going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. Mike Thornton with a carry here, and he'll gain seven. That'll lead to third and one out of the shotgun. McTaggart will hand it off to Thornton, and he will do the rest, picking up the first down on a gain of eight. First and ten now from inside the 25. Hand off to Thornton, and he is hit hard by Thomas Hendricks for a loss of one, and that will bring up third down, I believe. Third and 13, and McTaggart from the backfield here will fire downfield to Gilmore and Gilmore down to the five first and goal for Tennessee and on first and goal McTaggart will keep it into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown on the day tying this game once again at 21 as we head into halftime Georgia State opens up the second half with the ball in this back and forth game. Tied at 21, Nick Daniels with a carry and he is wrapped up behind the line for a loss of two. We don't see that very often. Let's take a look at the halftime stats. Georgia State actually just barely getting out beat yardage wise by Tennessee. Both these teams over 200 yards of total offense. Second and 12, Ridgeway goes to the sideline here and it's caught by Gavin Bostic. He's having a big game, gain of 17. First and 10, they go back to the ground and Daniels wrapped up again behind the line. Another loss of two, this time by Anthony Mansfield. That will lead to third and 10. Ridgeway looking, firing over the middle and caught by Andrew Roberts. Gain of 20 into Vols territory. Another third down here. 
Ridgeway to the air, looking, firing, and caught by Andrew Roberts for a first down. And Georgia State getting it done through the air here. First and 10, Nick Daniels with another carry and taken down again behind the line. Loss of three this time by Tom Dixon. Third and 13, Georgia State has to go to the air here, looking, being pressured, firing it, and almost picked off. Tom, Jonathan Ridgeway's pass will fall incomplete. They'll go for a fourth and 13 out of field goal range. Ridgeway scrambling, sets, fires, and just out of reach from his receiver. And Georgia State will turn the ball over on downs. Tennessee will take over, and McTaggart on first and 10 will take it himself. Breaking tackles inside the Georgia State 30, pushed out at the 24. It's a gain of 46 yards. Third and 13 now, he will find Hughes for the catch. It's a gain of seven. And the Vols will have fourth down, and they are going for it. McTaggart steps up in the pocket, fires to the end zone, and wide open is Mike Lewis on fourth and six. Georgia State's defense leaves a man wide open in the end zone, and the Vols take a 28-21 lead here late in the third quarter. Panthers take over. Bridgeway out of the shotgun here will fire this one, and Matt Terry can't hold on to the reception. They'll bring up third and 10, actually second and 10. Ridgeway to the ground with Nick Daniels, and he finds the edge here, gets the first down and more, pushed out at the 39, gain of 18. First and 10 for Georgia State now. Ridgeway back to the air here, being pressured immediately and taken down, sacked for a loss of five by Anthony Mansfield. That will bring up second and long. Ridgeway to the air, lobbing this one up for Reggie Frazier, and Frazier has the catch, gain of 32, and Georgia State's back in it here into Tennessee territory, second and 10. Matt Terry will make this reception. He'll hang on, and Georgia State has another first down. On first and 10, they hand it off to Gavin Bostic on the fly sweep, and he gets around the corner inside the 10, first down, and touchdown, Gavin Bostic. And Georgia State ties this one up at 28 apiece. And the Vols will take over third and two. McTaggart will take off up the middle. And he will have the first down. And the Vols on the move as we get to the end of the third quarter. All tied up at 28 apiece. Balls have first and 10 as we open up the fourth quarter from the shotgun. They hand it off to Thornton. He cuts it up the middle and throws a man to the ground. Gain of eight, close to the first down. Second and two. They hand it off to Thornton and he cuts it up the middle and down the sideline. He goes inside the 10. It's a gain of 27. Mike Thornton running all over this number one rush defense. First and goal, McTaggart will keep it here. Try to get outside. He's inside the five. Down to about the three, gain of six. Second and goal, they hand it off to Thornton up the middle, and Thornton will be stopped just short of the goal line, bringing up third and goal. And that will lead to a handoff to Parker, and Todd Parker runs into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Vols take their first lead of the day, 35 to 28 after the extra point. And now Georgia State down by a touchdown. Looking to get back into this one. First and 10 from their own 16. Play action. Ridgeway looking, being pressured, and sacked. A loss of nine on the play. Jeff Gray with the sack. Second and 19. Ridgeway firing, and it's caught by Gavin Bostic. Not enough for the first down, but a flag comes in. Face mask on Tennessee will give the Panthers a first down. Later in the drive, it's second and four. Handoff goes to Zach Bell, and Bell cuts it up the middle. Five yards and just enough for the first down. First and 10. Ridgeway under center here will drop back to pass, and the pressure gets to him. Sacked again, loss of seven. Tom Dixon with the sack. That'll lead to third and 17. Ridgeway to the air here, looking, scrambling, and he's going down again. Sacked for a loss of 13. That will bring up 4th and 30, and the Panthers have to punt. Tennessee takes over. McTaggart fakes and takes off here on 1st and 10. Gains a short 5. 3rd and 2 now. Out of the shotgun, McTaggart hands it off to Thornton up the middle. And Thornton continues to run all over this defense. 135 yards on the ground with a touchdown. 
the most of any running back this season so far. Thornton now in second and four, picks up another first down on a rush. And that will bring up first and 10 out of the shotgun here. JT McTaggart gonna go down sack for a loss of seven. And the Georgia State defense needed that one. Now they need to stop on third and 17, setting up screen. McTaggart's gonna be sacked again, loss of 11. And Georgia State's gonna get the ball back here, trying to get this game tied before the end of the fourth quarter. Ridgeway on first and 10, scrambling outside the pocket, and he will go down, sacked for a loss of 17. And that is not a good way to start this drive with no timeouts. Second and 27, Ridgeway deep finds a diving Matt Terry for 13 yards. Not a first down, but brings up a manageable third and 14. Ridgeway back to the air, will fire this one. Actually, he'll scramble, and he will be out of bounds after a gain of two. Fourth and 12 upcoming, and Georgia State needs to go for it. Ridgeway fires down the middle of the field, and it's caught for a first down by Matt Alexander, and that will keep the drive alive. Second and 10 now with under 40 seconds to go. Ridgeway will be taken down. Pass falls incomplete. And Georgia State has third and 10. Can they keep their season alive? Ridgeway steps up in the pocket. Tries to take off, but he has stopped after the no gain. Might have been a face mask, but it wasn't called. Fourth and 10. Here we go. This pass to Gavin Bostic broken up. And Georgia State turns the ball over on downs and loses their first game of the season, ending their 22-game winning streak. JT McTaggart, your player of the game for the Vols. And Tennessee knocks off the number one team in the country, 35-28. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week, number 17 TCU blows out Texas Tech 45-10. And number 15, Georgia Tech wins as well. Looking at the stats from our game today, it was the run game of Tennessee, not the pass game, that got them going 227 yards through the air. And the players of the game, Nick Daniels on offense, over 100 yards again, three touchdowns. Grant Williams on defense, four tackles, three for a loss, including a sack. And we have some recruiting news. Two new recruits to Georgia State, both cornerbacks, Brody Good a four-star from Beecher, Michigan, the number six quarterback in the country. He's a 75 overall, so we now have three of the top 10 quarterbacks in the country, along with three-star quarterback, the number 70 overall quarterback, the Colonel Gerald Haynes. He's plus four, up to a 69 overall. And after the loss, Georgia State falls. Well, Notre Dame number one now in the BCS, and Georgia State, well, they've fallen out of the top 10 down to number 12 in the country is Georgia State in the BCS. Can they climb their way back up? Before we find out, we find some more recruiting news. Two more recruits because week 11 was a bye week. Braylon McDonald, 79 overall, middle linebacker. He's a four-star player. He's 79 overall. He's committed to Georgia State. And also defensive tackle three-star Cameron Miner from Cape something Missouri number 38 overall defensive tackle he's a 69 overall they've both committed to Georgia State I think that puts us at like 13 commits but Georgia State during the bye week moves up from 12 to 8 in the BCS they may have a shot here folks to get back to the top two up coming up next Georgia State will be at home to face off against number 23 Missouri they have a good pass offense even better than Tennessee I believe and that's what gives us fits. Can this defense get back on track? Missouri's coming off a win against Tennessee, 41-17. I want to hear your feedback down below about our game today. What players stood out to you, good or bad? Leave that feedback down there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you are new and want to see more Georgia State Dynasty. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Madden Ballers. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode.